Well, now, my fellow Kenyans, let's be a little bit serious because the case that I'm about to talk about in this video is quite sensitive and it's actually a mirror of exactly what is going on in our society. It is not a thing that is an isolated case. It's a case that is very rampant within ourselves and it's actually happening out there. Maybe the information hasn't, hasn't, hasn't been you know, shared before, but this is the time. Why on earth would you pay a house rent worth 10000 if your salary is 21500 and that is the video of today. I mean, this is an individual who is earning 21,500 monthly and he is dedicating 10,500 towards the house rent. All right. Now, the question is this, honestly speaking, you see, there must be guidance. There must be principles that you're supposed to follow before we actually get our money and paying our rent. There's some factors to be considered before actually taking that money and paying our rent. There's something called budget. There's something called anyway. Let's get to the day's business. Just sit back, relax. Maybe this is the video that you've been looking forward. And today I'm going to reveal to you a secret that you're supposed to use to determine whether you're actually dedicating the right amount of money towards paying your rent, towards your food, towards your savings, towards your emergency fund, towards your sinking fund, and all those kind of things. All right? And just like an iron sharpens another iron, so do we learn from each other. Sit back, relax, and watch this video to the end. And by the way, it is my duty to remind you that I always post a video each and every day talking about finance, investment, be it either online or conventional. All what you need to do so that you don't miss any of my good videos in future, down below here on your right, there is a small button written subscribe. Hit that magical button and you'll turn on the notification bell and like this video. And by only doing that, you get to be notified whenever I upload a new good video. Yeah, I know you're already like, okay, fine, guy, talk about this, man, talk about... Fine, this is the time. All right, let's get to the business. Now, this individual is making 21,000. Let's go step by step. This guy is making 21,000 salary, is making 21,500 monthly. And now he is dedicating, all right, 10,000 towards paying the house rent. That is rent. Now, the question is this. There is a certain rule that I did share with you here some times back. And I said the rule is called... The rule is called 50, 30, 20. All right. What does it mean? It means like half of whatever you earn dedicated towards paying all your day to day activities like the food, the water view and all those kind of things. All right. Now, the question is this. Forget about the others. The question is this. The rule states that you should not never or never ever exceed. You should not exceed or not, you know, over. 30% of your total income towards your rent. What does it mean? You are not supposed to pay over 30% of your total income towards your rent. Now, what does it mean? Let's now do the mathematics in a practical way. Now, the guy is making 21,000 at the end of the month. All right. Now, what is the 30% of 21,000? So 30% of 21,500. What does it give you from your end? It's around close to 7,000. Let's give it at around uh, 6,650. Let's just give it around there. That is the maximum, maximum amount this guy is supposed to pay for his rent. That is the maximum with reference to 21,000. That is the maximum amount of money this guy is supposed to dedicate towards paying the rent. But now see where he is. He is at 10,000 Kenyan shillings at the end of the month. Now, now the question is this. This is minus utilities. This is minus utilities. If you were to add utilities here, water, all right? If you were to add things like uh, electricity, all right? This is all about the house. This guy has not eaten. This guy has not entertained himself. This guy has not bought any clothing. This guy probably is not saving and all those kind of things. This is very crazy. If you were to determine that, if you if you can't get the difference between these two, this is like 3,400, 3,400. This is the amount of money that this guy is exiting. I did ask the reason as to why he's doing so. He said, hey, he doesn't have much of the responsibilities with him. That's why he's actually dedicating all this amount of money because, and by the way, he told me that this is a bed sitter. It's a very nice place, elegant. Everything is considered and what have you. I asked, how old are you? He said, I am 21. And I think I'm okay with this amount of money. And I told him, hey, then why did you call if you're okay? He told me, hey, I'm thinking like I'm making a mistake. Absolutely, you are making a mistake. You're not supposed to dedicate this amount of money. You know what? I told him, hey, guess what? There is a family who is earning that amount of money, your viewers, at the end of the month. The individual has kids. 
by the way, not even one, but two of them, has the wife, and he pays the rent using the same amount of money. He feeds the kids, and you might be shocked to hear that some of the kids are actually in school, and the guy is able to sustain that amount of money. Honestly speaking, if you're earning 21000 in Kenya, you're actually falling into the category of the majority of people, the amount of money they earn in a single day. Now, the question is this. If you're actually exiting, I know right now you are thinking, hey, what if the guy is saving on the transport? Listen, life is not all about transport and paying the rent and eating and dressing. There is something called progression. There's something called progress. You know, you proceed, you progress in your life. You grow and develop. Meaning that, hey, guess one thing. You are growing old. You should regard this an opportunity. I mean, seriously, not majority of the people, not a lot of people are actually getting a salary of 21,000 at age 21. Some of the people who are watching this video, they already know sometimes it takes time to actually get a job that is paying you a good amount of money. So the point is this, ever, ever in your life, do this. If you want to know whether you're doing the right thing, sit down with a pen and paper. Ask yourself, how much am I earning? All right. And then how much am I paying for my house rent? Let's say you are earning like 40,000 at the end of the month, 40,000. Then you're supposed to pay at most 30% of it. 30% of 40,000 is like 12,000. 12,000 at the end of the month. That is the maximum amount of money they're supposed to pay for your rent. So now, also it's good to consider the transport, okay? It's good to consider the transport. If you consider the transport in that regard, if getting yourself a quite an expensive house, and at the same time you save a little bit on the transport, then should be the case. But if you realize that, hey, you're actually getting yourself a very elegant house and quite an expensive house because of the some factors like, hey, it is good, it is making me happy, has all the amenities that I would love to have in a compound and what have you. Listen, there's something I always talk about called sacrifice. You have to sacrifice some things. You sacrifice now for the better of tomorrow. Don't like dedicate all your money towards the rent. Because at the end of the day, it's going to make you very, very hard in this life. So the point is this, guys. Incorporate something that we call budgeting. And I'm going to give you a very simple budgeting. And I've actually shared with you that rule. That rule is called 50, 30, 20%. Now, what does it mean? 50, 30, and then 20%. All right? So this says, like, at least, for me, I actually reverse this rule and I say, well, I know it says, like, 20% should be dedicated towards entertainment and what have you. I always tell people, save at least 20%. Save, saving, saving at least, at least 20%. So if we take a regard with this case, how much this guy is supposed to save at, at the end of the month? This guy is supposed to save at least 42, 42, talk of 42, 50. Okay, that's the amount of money this guy should be saving each and every month because basically that, that's like the 20% of this amount of money. So that one save it, all right? And then again, consider you not paying. This guy, I would say, if you want to live in a quite a good life, I would say maximum to pay this amount of money. Let's say this guy pays a house rent of 6,500, right? 6,500, let's say it's a bed sitter somewhere, okay? And then the other budget is this, that what you're paying for your house should actually come close to how much you're eating at the end of the month. So probably say 5,500 at the end of the month. You know, uh, we usually say that amount of money that you're paying to your house rent, sometimes it nears or is close to that amount of money that you're paying towards your house rent. Although the house rent sometimes become a bit too high, but it depends which family you are, you are referring to, okay? It might be a lot of people who are in a single house. So th th that formula may not apply. So if you're dedicating this amount of money towards your uh, your, your, your house rent. And then when I say food, uh, food and what have you, maybe utilities, you can give it, let's say, at around 1500 All right. So how much have you salvaged? Because this is like 12000 This is like 16000 16000 plus basically like 2000 That's you have yourself like, you know, 18000 So that is $18,000. you are left with how many thousands? You're left with 3500 with this 3500 you can decide to, hey, guess what? You can either increase the cover, you know, the, the basket of saving. You can actually increase like a thousand here. You save like five thousand or six thousand. After all, you don't have much of the responsibilities. I'm taking a case regard with this individual. Or option two, this five thousand, you can actually keep it in, in in liquid form and say, hey, this one is functioning as my emergency fund. Just in case, you never know. You can get fired any moment. Or with this three thousand five hundred, you can decide, hey, this amount of money, I will actually keep late in a period of time then i can be able to start a side hustle or i can decide to open another account like 2000 i'm left with 1500 or i can decide each and every month 1500 goes towards for my entertainment you know credit and what have you that is when i say credit i mean like um 
the, the calling cost, the internet and what have you. And maybe you're left with 1,000. You keep that 1,000 each and every time. Why? You have actually filled all the basket. The basket of saving, it is checked. Basket of actually paying your house rent is checked. Basket of actually your food and what have you, checked. Basket of the utilities, checked. Basket of the entertainment is as well checked. And again, you're left with basket of what? Emergency fund. At that particular point, you're actually being logical. Rather than taking a whooping 10K, dedicating to your house rent, and then you're earning. You can just imagine what will happen if this guy get fired. You know, I always tell people some, some time is good to, you know, view life on that perspective. It can happen. Now, what if you get fired and you have this amount of, how many times can you, you know, uh, in, you, know you know, what do we say in Swahili? Kukopa, this amount of money for you to pay the, 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 the rent. And this is the most cases that you find people tend to go out there, they become depressed and what have you actually grasp that word or bite that what you can swallow. I'll regard this amount of money at a higher extreme and it's a thing that I wouldn't advise. And you can use this case scenario that I've explained to you to actually go ahead and ask yourself whether you are making the right decision out there as far as the paying house rent is concerned. I fully understand this is a very emotive case. I fully understand, especially when it comes to our beautiful and wonderful ladies. If you tell them, hey, is this used to do with sacrifice and what have you and living they kind of raise some issues like, hey, you want me to live in a shanty place? I have to consider my security. I have to consider the hygiene and all those kind of things. You see, I'm not disregarding all those factors. Those factors should be considered. I mean, I don't think there is anybody who is out there really looking forward into having a place that is quite unhygienic. No. All what we do is this. Hey, we have to consider hygiene. We also need to consider the aspect of saving. Why would you consider the aspect of hygiene, the security and what have you, and then disregard this aspect of savings? Yeah, I know probably you may argue from the point of, hey, life is short, life is for the living. You know, they say YOLO, that is you only live once. There is that, you know, the popular thing that is popping out there. But my question is this, a time will come when you realize that life is not as short as you thought. That's a reality, all right? You realize, hey, you ain't going that early. All right. So the point is this, make sure that at least you understand how money functions. You understand what you're generating or rather what you're generating sure vis-a-vis -vis how much you're consuming. Because this dude is paying close to 50% of that amount of money that he's earning at the end of the month. 50%, meaning half of it is going towards that. If you were to add food inside of this amount of money, say he consumes 15,000 or rather 5,000. So 15 Gs is gone. You pay the utilities for 1,500. 16 Gs is gone. You pay for the entertainment at what have you. And by the way, the guy was complaining about, hey, I don't know why I actually ran broke in, 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 in the seventh day or 10th or 11th. Yeah, I told him, absolutely. You I'm actually shocked. Why, why not on the, on the 5th? I'm actually shocked. Actually, I do congratulate you for actually managing to reach up to the 13th day of the month with that kind of a budget. This is quite outrageous. You're not supposed to do this. Especially at that age, you're supposed to be thinking of maximizing. You can just imagine if I... You see, I'm just trying to be a little bit friendly. Telling you to save 20% of this amount of money at that age, bearing in mind that you don't have all the responsibilities. It does not make sense to tell somebody who has a family to save 20% and somebody who doesn't have much of the responsibilities to save amount of the same amount of money. This is a person should actually be saving this amount of money per month. By the way, if I was him, I would be saving these 10 Gs and survive on the 11,000. 11,000, I can get myself like 4,500, a place where I can actually be able to live. I eat, you know, and also do some other things, okay? You see, I'm an extremist, you know? When I say extremist, I mean in terms of spending money, you know? I'm, 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 myself, I I'm, don't really consider myself as, um, you know, I don't consider myself as, 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 as a spendthrift. You know, I have to really consider that factor because otherwise at this particular point, you should focus on maximizing the amount of money that you're saving, focus on the investing, and then later you can be able to do something. Hey, guess what, guys? That's the end of my video, but not the end of me posting each and every day. Be sure if you would like to have a conversation with me, grab my number from the description of this specific video. Give me a call. I offer those services. And for now, it's a goodbye. See you there in the next one.